In this video, we're going to be answering some frequently asked questions about our eco-solvent hybrid printer from am.co.za. How many passes can you actually do to get the best quality out of eco-solvent? Generally speaking, to get the best quality for printing, you're going to use your RIP software to choose either a 6-pass or an 8-pass print. Now, if you're wanting something that is still good quality and you're printing at a decent speed, you're going to choose a 6-pass. But, however, for eco-solvent, it is always best to go for 8-pass because it has the best quality and the most amount of ink going down without it splurging all over your print. So, in my opinion, an 8-pass is the best to choose. Can you print with eco-solvent onto any surface? Eco-solvent ink is solvent-based. Now, that means that generally speaking, anything that is going to accept that ink, which is absorbed into the material, can then be printed onto. So, we can say that paper, plastic, and other porous materials will accept your eco-solvent ink, as long as there's a special coating that accepts that solvent. Unlike UV, which is applied and printed to the surface of anything, so that it is cured on the surface and is not embedded into the material. Once you've printed with your eco-solvent printer, how long does it take for the ink to dry? Eco-solvent ink dries pretty quickly, as long as you've got good ventilation in the area that you're printing, and as well as that you're using the preheat on the bed so that your material's heated, and the drying rack, which is going to dry the paper and the ink before it gets to the take-up roller. How long does it take to dry once you've printed with the eco-solvent printer so that you can start applying with that vinyl? Eco-solvent ink can be applied as soon as you have allowed the degassing process. Now, that means that once it's gone ahead and printed, it's gone through the drying rack and it's up on the take-up roller. Once that's happened, you need to at least wait an hour for the gas to dissipate out of your eco-solvent ink so that it can become completely dry. That being said, if you're going to go cut through the ink before that happens, anything that is still wet will lift on the corners. So, make sure that you've at least waited an hour after printing before you go ahead and apply it with using heat from a heat gun. When printing with eco-solvent, how toxic is the ink if you breathe it in? You can breathe in eco-solvent ink. It is going to cause you a little bit of discomfort in your respiratory system. So you need to make sure that you have a good ventilation in the area that you're printing so that some fresh air comes in so that you're not only just breathing in solvent ink. Now, our full solvent is what we used to use and now we're using something called eco-solvent, which is a little bit less harmful to your system. So make sure that you're not breathing it in all the time but it is not as harmful as it used to be. Is eco-solvent ink cheaper than UV ink? Yes, UV ink is more expensive than eco-solvent and that's purely because it's got a lot more inside of it. It's got sensitizers, it's got more pigment in it and it's got other agents that are added to it that are not in eco-solvent. So the answer is yes, eco-ink is cheaper to use than the same grade of UV inks. Why do you have a front heater and fan in front of the printer? The reason you need a heater and fan is purely so that your vinyl and the ink is dried and cured before it gets to your take-up roller so that when you unravel it, it's not stuck to itself. Where is the best place to store your eco-solvent inks? Like all inks, you want to make sure that your lid is tightly closed on the ink bottle and you're storing it in a place that is cool and dry and make sure that there's absolutely no sunlight touching that area and that is the perfect way to keep your inks. Can expired eco-solvent ink damage your machine if you pour it in? Yes, expired inks can cause damage to your printer as well as the print head. Now, once this has expired, settlement starts to occur in the ink. And once that's happened, you are going to incur lots of issues with clogging in your printhead. And that's because your ink is now sedimented and there are thicker pieces to the ink that are gonna get clogged through your filter all the way to the printhead. So you need to make sure that you are shaking this often and make sure that you do check your expiry dates before pouring this into your printer. Can you use alcohol wipes to wipe the printhead without causing any damage? 
No, you cannot use alcohol-based wet wipes. Using alcohol will react with the ink while wiping the head and then it will clog the head instantly. So it's always best to stay away from alcohol-based objects and rather use something like normal tissue, roller towel, as well as non-worthen cloth to wipe the printhead clean. And that's it for today's questions, guys. If you're wanting to know more and if you have questions yourself, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below and we will get to it. If you're wanting to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as that bell icon so that you can get notified on our future videos. And again, thank you for watching. AI may eventually take over, but what's for certain is that smart machines are already operating all over the world right now. So stay ahead with am.co.za. For 11 years, they've been the leader in CNC and printing machines like CNC routers, large format printers, vinyl cutters, laser cutters, plasma cutters, DTF printers, and many more. Visit am.co.za showrooms in Sunny Rock, Joburg and Montague Gardens, Cape Town or WhatsApp high to 060 600 6000 for more info. am.co.za. Achievement matters.